What's good guys, Slips here, bringing you guys another interesting video, unlike yesterday's interesting video, where you got to watch me spell really bad and fail at this challenge. Well now, this is different. This is going to be my favorite Pokemon for each typing, which means, you know, you see all the titles, all the typings on the screen. I have a favorite Pokemon for each of them, and I'm just going to share them with you guys, you know. So, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to please slime up that like button as great as you could, and... I hope you enjoy. All right, so first off, we have water. My favorite water type being Oshawa. Oshawa from fifth gen. Well, not just Oshawa. Oshawa's entire evolution line is great, and I, it's my favorite Pokemon from fifth gen because Samurai's a sea lion. Lion is my favorite type of animal. You kind of see what I did there? It's my favorite type of animal. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorite typings. So I instantly fell in love with it. Now competitively. I believe Samurott's an in you, it's not really that great stat wise, so if it ever gets a Mega Mega Samurott, it would be just amazing. It would be just amazing. I would probably die of tears from how awesome it might look. Alright, moving right along, we have Steel. My favorite Steel being Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is great. It is a defensive spiky ball of grass. And metal. Did I mention that it's OU and that it's really, really good? <laughs> um, every time I play X and Y, I always have to have at least some, some a Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn can just tank hits for days and just tank hits for days. And Steel is super effective against Fairy, and I hate Fairy with a passion. I need something that kills Fairies very easily, because I hate Fairies. If you guys, if I ever ask you what, what's my favorite, what's my least favorite typing, you guys should already know. It's fairies. Alright, next up we have Tyrantrum being the rock dragon Pokemon. This Pokemon is amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's a, it's a T-Rex Pokemon. It's a T-Rex Pokemon. Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is my favorite dinosaur of all Pokemon. Next to the... The, the Brachiosaurus, I believe it's, that's what it's called. Next to that dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex is my favorite. And when I first saw Tyron, I automatically knew this is going to be a great T-Rex Pokemon. And it's probably going to have a great typing. And when I saw Tyron's typing, I'm like, Rock Dragon? What? We don't have one of those. That's unique. That's great. Tyrantrum, Tyrantrum falls really easily to... A lot of a lot of things it doesn't have great special defense so it falls to special attacks really easily but I love using it it's a monster you set up those dragon dances and you will wreck everything moving right along we have psychic type being Cresselia Cresselia is it my favorite legendary but as psychic type legendaries go it's undoubtedly my first I know Mewtwo and Mew is a thing. I like Mew, and I like Mewtwo. But there's something about Cresselia being kind of the moon Pokemon, moonlight Pokemon or something like that. It just made, it just spoke out. It just spoke out to me because Cresselia is like, Cresselia is like a little mini, it's a female version of Garatina. That's how I always saw it. It's like a, it's a female version of Garatina, except just not as evil. I never saw it as the counterpart for Dark Rai. I saw this as more of a female version of Garatina. And it's bulky. It's super bulky. I don't know what tier Cresselia is right now. Um, I want to say Yu Yu. I want to say Yu Yu. I really want to say Yu Yu. It might be Yu Yu. But Cresselia is super bulky. It's one of the bulkiest mods in the game. Aside, you know, for, t for Garatina and probably Shuckle. But no one cares about Shuckle because Shuckle is stupid. But yeah, Cresselia just Cresselia is just the, is my favorite psychic typing. But yeah, all right, moving right along to Poison. Poison, we have Dragalge. Dragalge had an interesting typing. I forgot its first evolution name. Scrub. Scrub had an interesting typing. It was Water Poison. It was Water Poison and changed to Dragon. When I first saw Dragalge, I was I was first thinking like, okay, so what's the basic Pokemon for this? And when I actually first saw Scrap, I was like, so this is what it looks like. And then I checked this typing. It was Water Poison. I was like, huh. 
Why not just make it dragon, dragon poison from the get go? It gets access to dragon moves. Scrub gets access to some dragon moves. I don't understand why you wouldn't do that. But hey, I'm not Game Freak or Nintendo. I don't make the rules. That's just my personal opinion. Blah, 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 blah. And being normal type, I said this in my top five Pokemon of all time video, that Eevee was one of my favorite Pokemon. Why? Because it's diverse. If you don't like the normal Eevee, there's an Eevee choice for you. There's an, there's an Eevee choice for anyone. Anyone. I'm hoping in the future we get a dragon type evolution Eevee, and then I'll probably probably just fan just fangirl over that. Just, I'll probably just fangirl over that the entire time. I would probably not stop talking about, oh, we have, it's probably going to be named Dragion, and Dragion sounds so cool. Dragion sounds like a, an amazing name for Eevee, but Eevee I've loved since Gen 1, ever since I played with Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon, and then it was Umbreon, and Espeon, then it was Glaceon, Leafeon, and now we have the, the stupid Sylveon. <sighs> fairy types, I hate fairy types. You know, Eevee has just been a great Pokemon for me at the start, especially. I just love Eevee. It's so diverse, and I love it. All right, coming up next is an, another Eevee Lucian that I like so much. <laughs> it's Glaceon. Glaceon is probably my favorite Ice type, even though it's not that great. Now, what made this put me over? Because I, because in my mind, I thought this was initially a tie between Glaceon and Weavile. Because Weavile, I love Weavile to death. Weavile is a Weavile is probably the best ice type in the game. If not, if it weren't so defense deprived of defenses, it would probably be the best ice type in the game. Aside from, you know, Mega Glalie and Mega Obama Snow. If we ever get a Mega Curum. Curum's not bad, but Curum is just it's just not my favorite. I prefer Curum White. That's just me. I prefer Curum White, so. Yeah, it's all about that. Next up, we have Garchomp, the land shark beat -em up thing and Pokemon that I've seen lately that just tears and kills things with those Rage of Sharp thingies. Garchomp is power. That's all I have to say. When I first saw Gibble, I was like, Gibble, yes, you, you're a dragon. I can already tell you're a dragon. I don't even have to look you up to know you're a dragon. When I first played Diamond... When I first played Diamond, because I chose Diamond because Dialga is stronger than Palkia. I don't care. <laughs> so I, when I first picked up my copy of Pokemon Diamond for the first time, and I saw a Gibble. I saw a Gibble under, it was, I think it was underneath the bicycle road. No, or is that where you get Gligar? That might be where you get Gligar, but I encountered a Gibble in, po in my Pokemon Diamond. I just don't remember where. But nonetheless, I love Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. Cynthia's Garchomp is by far the scariest thing in that game. My lord, Cynthia's Garchomp. It's it's just it's too much. It's too much. Alright, next we have my favorite grass type being Rose Raid. Rose Raid is just that elegant gla glass <laughs> grass. It's just that elegant grass type Pokemon that I've always liked. I've always liked Rose Raid. I wasn't a big fan of Bidoo when I first saw it, and I wasn't a big fan of Roselia. Roselia was a pain was a pain in the ass. Roselia was a pain in the ass going up against that. It was a pain. But when I saw what that thing turned into, I was like, okay. I changed my mind. Rose, Rose Raid is kind of kind of lit. It's kind of the best grass type Pokemon I've ever seen. Sorry, Venusaur. Sorry, Sceptile. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry, Meganium. You don't deserve it. Meganium, you don't deserve this stuff. Rose Raid for days. Rose, Rose Raid for days. Hashtag it, people. Hashtag it. Hashtag it, people. My favorite ghost type being Gorgeis. Gorgeis is... This is going to be one of those times that I freak out over how adorable a Pokemon is. And Gorgeis is one of those Pokemon. Gorgeis is adorable. I don't know why I find Gorgeis to be so adorable. But I find Gorgeis to be exceptionally adorable. I don't know why. Quote me on this if you want to. But I just find Gorgeis so gosh darn adorable. I don't know what it is. But it just is, and I love it. I've played it in X and Y. I prefer Gorgeis over Punkaboo, and Tremonet for that matter. But, yeah, I just like Gorgeis better. It's a ghost grass, which was, it was an interesting typing to give it ghosts and grass. It doesn't remotely even look like a grass Pokemon. 
But hey, like I said, I'm not Game Freak or Nintendo. I don't make these things. Anyway, next up we have Star Raptor, the flying bird of Gen 4. In my opinion, Star Raptor, Star Raptor is the best bird in the game. You know the starter birds you get at the, each route? I think Star Raptor is the best bird. Not even better than Talonflame. Talonflame is by far my least favorite bird. And it's only because of the, abil the ability that it has. It's Gale Wings. You can abuse Gale Wings so much to where you can literally one-shot other Pokemon. If it doesn't have the tank to... If it doesn't have enough HP and defenses to block to dodge or take a Brave Bird, you're not going to live a Brave Bird from a Talonflame. That's the... I don't like Talonflame. But Staraptor, in my opinion, is the best bird Pokemon by far. It is... It... It's the only bird Pokemon that learns close combat. You know how unique that is? It learns close combat for a bird type Pokemon. This this Star Raptor will beat you up. It will beat you up. When it, soon as it soon as it evolves into Star Raptor, it learns close combat and it will beat you up. It will destroy you. And by far, Star Raptor has the coolest design out of all the birds. Maybe not Braviary. Braviary has a Pretty neat design. I'm not gonna lie. It has a pretty neat design. So does Mega Pidgeot, but I'm not counting Mega Pidgeot. Even though Mega Pidgeot is kind of nice. I have been using a lot of Mega Pidgeot in Showdown lately, so Mega Pidgeot's climbing its way up there. Alright. I said this on my top five video as well. Charizard X is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I love Charizard. I played Charizard in Pokemon Red. And I didn't choose, I didn't, I'm not doing it in my Pokemon Blue Let's Play because I never traditionally used Squirtle or Bulbasaur. I don't know. It was like a majority thing where majority wanted like a fire breathing dragon, but I never got to use the water blasting, the twin arm cannons, blast toys, or the Thickums Venusaur reference people, references, references. I never got to use either one of them in their respectable games. So, I figured that I could probably play those games and probably use those Pokemon. Because I've used Charmander so much. I've used Charmeleon so much. I've used Charizard so much. But it's when, when they released, when I saw Charizard Y, I was honestly kind of disappointed. Because I was really hoping that they would change it to Dragon type. But when I saw Charizard X, I was like, Game Freak. You stepped up your game and you gave my favorite Pokemon Dragon. Like it deserved. It deserved to be Dragon way long time ago. It deserved to be a Dragon type. We're in sixth generation and I had to wait for Charizard to become a Dragon. A Dragon. I got immensely happy. Immensely happy. I chose. I chose the copy that had the Charizard X. I think it was Pokemon X. Unless they swapped them, where you would get Charizard Y and X or Charizard X and Y. I don't, I, I forgot how that went, but I definitely got the copy that allowed me to get Charizard X for sure, because it's so amazing. It's Dragon type. Dragon's my favorite typing. Yep, do. -de All right, now we're going on to fighting types. Fighting types. I was kind of at a loss here. I was kind of stuck on Mega Lopunny and Lucario. Lucario is just a fan favorite, and everyone likes Lucario. So I kind of ducked him down and chose Lapunny. I, I chose Lapunny because of design-wise. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bunny. It's a bunny that fights you. It's a bunny that uses its ears. No, that's Diggers. Diggers be uses its actual ears to fight you. Lapunny just, Lapunny just looks cool. Lapunny just looks cool, in my opinion. I love bunny Pokemon. I love Diggers B. Um, Diggers B though. Reference again. Um, I just love bunny type Pokemon. Buneary was the absolute best Pokemon Don had in Diamond and Pearl with Ash. That whole thing with Buneary and Pikachu was just straight up just That's why Don's my favorite that's what that's why Don's my favorite um assistant, like side character for Ash. She's my favorite. I don't know what it is. I just like Dawn because she just had that spunk attitude and that Buneary Ebonier was just just so adorable, I couldn't pass it up. And when when they first announced Mega Lopunny, I was like, 
Yeah, sounds like Game Freak. You're stepping it up once again. Back at it again with the Lapony Mega Stones. Ah, I see you. Yeah, but I just love Mega Lapony. It's so fun to use. You know, you got that occasional fake out. Got the Ice Punch, Drain Punch. I don't know what else you would run on that. Return? I want to say return. You might run return on it. But yeah, other than that, Megalopony is one of my favorite fighting type Pokemon. I, I like it. And coming up now, the most, I kid you not, the most drawn Pokemon in Pokemon history. Gardevoir. Gardevoir. And you might find this weird. I, can't, I said earlier in this video that I did not like fairy types. I don't like fairy types. Fairy types is my least favorite typings. Now, some of you think I might be biased because, oh, well, Jason, oh, well, Slips, they counter, they counter Dragon types who really didn't have a weakness back then. It was just Ice, and there are no really good Ice type Pokemon. But then again, it was really uncommon for you to get a Dragon type Pokemon. There, I think there's like either one or two released in each generation alone. One or two Dragon types introduced in each generation alone. Because dragon types are just that great. And I'm not really counting the legendaries. Because most legendaries are dragon anyway. Because dragon is the best typing. I've said that. And so they introduced fairy to kind of counteract, but it's whatever. Gardevoir is my favorite fairy type Pokemon. I was going to say Florgus, and I thought it would have been funny to put a in here. Because most people just don't like aroma teas, but I find it I find it I find it adorable. Spritzy Spritzy's adorable too, but people just don't like aroma teas. <laughs> no one likes aroma teas so much. But I had to pick Gardevoir, because Mega Gardevoir is just it's it's beautiful. Mega Gardevoir has probably the most beautiful mega design ever. Just beautiful. Hands down, greatest design on Mega Stone Pokemon ever. Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir. A hyper voice will kill you. Double battle? Oh no. Hyper voice. Gone. You want to run a dragon mono team? Dragon mono team. Double battle. Mega Gardevoir on the field. Hyper voice. Gone. You are dead. You are destroyed. It is not happening. All right. All right. Now it's time for that electric typing. My favorite electric typing Pokemon is... Not Raichu. I had a debate about whether to choose Raichu or Luxray. But since I like dogs more than I like mouse, it was kind of Luxray. Oh, boy. Now, I just want to say this first. I'm not a big fan of Pikachu. Pikachu is not my favorite other type Pokemon. Just because if they should have at least made... They shouldn't have made Raichu a thing and made, and made Pikachu like... Omega or something, they should have done that, and then people would have, like, respectively used Pikachu a little bit more than they do now, because if you ever want to use an, ele an electric type in a lower tier, you're basically going to go off and get something else. But I I love Luxray. Luxray is just... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lion. It's a lion-esque cat Pokemon. I don't kind of classify it as a dog. More of, like, a cat. Because of the tail. Because of its tail. But nonetheless, I like Luxray. If only there was a Mega Luxray, it would totally be, totally be Electric Dark. If it's not Electric Dark, I will, I will tweet at Pokemon saying, you messed up. You played yourself. Give us what the fans want. We want Dark Electric. Give it a new move. Give it a new move. Don't give it Flash. That's kind of obvious. That's kind of obvious. Even though I think it already learns Flash. Not not the point of the question. Not the point of the question. But yeah, Luxray, favorite Electric type Pokemon. Hands down. I wouldn't choose him with anything else. Maybe Jolteon. Because Jolteon is pretty cool. And I like Eevee because it's so diverse. Never mind being off track. Next, moving on. Moving on. One, You guys should have already seen this coming. My favorite Dragon type is obviously Gudra. Why isn't it? Don't be confused by the picture. It's just hugging a Reuniclus. Because it's so gosh darn gooey and adorable. Just like Gudra. I'm funny. Don't take me for granted. But yeah. Gudra, favorite dragon type. Hands down. You can't beat it. 
It's tank. It has the most special defense out of all dragon types. Hit me. Hit my. Hit my Guja with a dragon pulse. Go ahead. Hit me with a Draco meteor. Go ahead. Hit me with that dragon breath. Go ahead. Hit me with that dragon rage. Go ahead. But 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 don't hit. Don't do not hit me with a dragon claw or a dragon rush. Please don't. I will not live those hits. Please don't do that. Well, unless I use acid armor. Unless I use acid armor to kill everything and everyone on sight. I don't know. I either... And it's so weird because it's my favorite Pokemon. And whenever I play X and Y, I literally have to get a Gumi. I have to. If I don't, I will feel so awkward not getting a Gumi. I will feel awkward. Very awkward. And I always nickname my Gumis, whether it's female, whether it's female or male, even though majority of them are female because... Ratio... Ratios, apparently... But literally, like I always nickname them Bay or just just Slurp, Slurp or Bay. Most of the time, it's just Bay because you can't beat Bay. Bay is here to stay. Bars. Anywho, yeah, Gucci's favorite dragon type, hands down, best dragon type in the game. Ten out of ten performance. You can't beat it. All right. Next up, we have. Umbreon. Umbreon is another evolution, I mind you, because Umbreon is just great. Umbreon is amazing. Umbreon is, I feel like, in my opinion, Umbreon should be in OU, but it's not. It's in UU. I understand why it's in UU, but if I use Umbreon all the time in OU, and it puts in the finest of work. I usually run my Umbreons with Foul Play to handle those stupid Source Dancing Talon Flames or Bisharps that want to set up on me. I run Heal Bell, I run Protect, and you can run the last move, the last slot for your move three ways. You can run Toxic, Wish, or Moonlight. I prefer to use Wish because if I need to heal another Pokemon, I can do that. If I just need it just for, if I have another recovery mon that can heal my other Pokemon, I would run Moonlight. And if I pretty much had two other Pokemon that did the same thing as Umbreon can do, I would usually run Toxic. But it, I'm not, I'm not one for Toxic stalls. That's why I don't really run Toxic Umbreon, Toxic Protect, Toxic Umbreon. It's just some, it's not my style of play. I'm a hyper offensive player. I like to go in with damage and damage and damage. Just straight up attack damage. I'm not the one that just, I'm not going to be the type of trainer that just waits until you just, just, just toxic stall you out. I'm not a Gliscor with poison heal and toxic as well, just to toxic my opponent. You know, you, you know who you are out there, world. You and your stupid Gliscors. I hate you. I hate you so much. I love Gliscor. I just hate the players. I hate you guys. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Don't take it. Don't read too much into that. I love you guys. All right, and last but not least, we have my favorite Bug type Pokemon. This was hard. I'm just gonna come out and say this now. This one was hard. Um, ever since Mega Beedrill got announced, I've been head over heels for Beedrill. Mega Beedrill puts Mega Beedrill is strong. It is powerful. Mega Beedrill is. Is is strong, <laughs> and the fact that it gets access to Drill Run, that that made it scary. Because I think when you're Bug and Poison, your only weakness is Fire, Flying. I think you're. I think Ground. I don't. I don't know if Ground is still super effective. But I don't think that Bug is. I don't think Bug resists Ground in any way. So I'm pretty sure Ground is still super effective. Yeah, so probably fire, flying, rock, ground. It has some vulnerability vulnerabilities, but I just I I just like Scolipi. Scolipi has one of the best abilities that you could possibly get in the game is speed boost. I mean, I hate speed boost Blazikins and Combuskins, but hey, Scolipi getting Speed boost, I run my Scolipede in OU because it puts in work. Even though it's in BL2, which is fine. The same for Staraptor, it's in BL2 as well, but 
it's fine by me. I mean, I usually run expert belt scolipede with protect to get at least one speed boot up, one speed boost up, so that I can outspeed anything on the field for that current turn. I run either, I run poison jab, and the last two slots are kind of debatable for whether which one you would prefer based on your item. If you're if you're the type of player that plays for more accuracy. You're gonna want expert belt, poison jab, X scissor, and I would say earthquake. I wouldn't say rock slide, but I would say earthquake because it has more accuracy. But if you're the type of player that plays for more power, you're definitely gonna want to put. I think it's called scope lens. It's I think it's an item that raises your accuracy. So I think it's called wide lens or scope lens, one of the two. But yeah, you're gonna run mega horn. You're gonna run Poison Jab, you're gonna run Rock Slide, and you're gonna run Protect. You're gonna wanna run those higher power moves, but that but costs your accuracy. But they put in the finest of work. I tell you, Mega Horn O-Kills just about everything. It O-Kills a Mew. I, play, I, I played against a Mew one time, it o code when I landed a Mega Horn, super effective stab Mega Horn, Oko's a Mew. And Mew is kind of bulky with base 100 stats. Base 100 stats across the board. Mew is nothing to play around. And I believe it was a defensive Mew, and it Oko'd for me. It wasn't even a crit, and it Oko'd. Scolipede is power. And you can also run a support Scolipede with, like, you know, Sword Dance, Baton Pass. I think it might get acid armor. I'm not really sure. Yeah, speed boost, swords dance, acid armor. I think no. I think it's iron defense. I think it, I think it gets iron defense because of world of P. Because world of P does get iron defense. Yeah, so it's iron defense. Yeah, skull P is amazing power. It's fifth gen. Not the brightest generation of the bunch to produce some bug type Pokemon, but I think Scolipi has the potential of being the best bug type Pokemon. Just because of the, its amazing move pool. And all that good jazz. So guys, that was my favorite Pokemon for each of the typings of current Pokemon up to date. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to slam up that like button if you guys enjoyed. And comment below if you want to see me do any more top top anything top five top tens of anything pokemon related or something even not pokemon related i'm down i'm open-minded towards anything right now so with that guys i'm gonna get out of here and i hope i hope you guys slip into my next video and i'll see you guys in my next video peace